this is the problem given and is asking you to find out the equivalent circuit parameters of a transformer voltage regulation and efficiency at full load and 0.8 power factor lag and the efficiency at half load and that 0.8 power factor lag these three we need to determine let us first calculate cos phi oc we know that woc is equal to voc into ioc into cos phi oc Rewriting the above equation, cos phi OC is equal to WOC divided by VOC into IOC. Substituting the value of WOC as 75 watts, VOC as 120, and IOC as 4, we will get cos phi OC as. 0.1562 and similarly we will find sin phi oc that is equal to 0.9877 now let us calculate the current iw is equal to ioc into cos phi oc and ioc is 4 amperes 4 into 0.1562 that is equal to 0.6248 amperes. Similarly, I magnetizing is equal to IOC into sin phi OC. That is equal to 4 into 0.9877. That is equal to 3.95 amperes. I magnetizing can also be calculated. Now let us find out the shunt parameters R0 and X0. R0 is equal to VOC divided by IW, where VOC is equal to 120 and IW is equal to 0.624. And the value of R0 will be equal to 192.3 ohms. Similarly, X0 is equal to VOC by I magnetizing. That is equal to 120 divided by 3.95 that is equal to 30.38 ohms. Remember these two values are with respect to LV circuit only. Either we can shift R0 and X0 to HV side or we can shift HV parameters to the LV side. Let us shift R0 and X0 to the HV side. We know that the transformation ratio K is equal to number of turns on the secondary side by number of turns on the primary side or it is also equal to the ratio of primary current to the secondary current. That is also equal to the ratio of E2 by E1. E2 is 400 and E1 is 120. And that is equal to 3.33. R0 dash is equal to R0 into K square. That is equal to the value of R0 is 192.3 into k square that is 3.33 square that is equal to 2136 ohms next x0 dash x0 dash is equal to x0 into k square and that is equal to 30.38 into 3.333 square and that is equal to 337.54 ohms. All these components 
are corresponding to HV side. Now we will determine the series elements that is RE and XE. We know that the WSC is equal to ISC square into RE2 or it can also be written as RE with respect to HV side, the equivalent resistance referred to HV side. Substituting the values, RE2 is equal to or RE of HV side is equal to 0.275 ohms. Equivalent impedance referred to HV side is equal to VSC by ISC. That is equal to 9.5 divided by 20 equal to 0.475 ohms. Now we will determine Xe with respect to HV side that is equal to square root of ZE with respect to HV side square minus RE HV square. Substituting the values, we will get XE of HV is equal to 0 0.3872 ohms. Now, we will substitute all these values in the equivalent circuit. This equivalent circuit is with respect to HV side. Now, we will find the voltage regulation. The voltage regulation is given by EHV minus VHV divided by VHV. That is equivalent to IHV into RHV divided by EHV into cos phi plus IHV into XHV divided by EHV into sin phi as the power factor is lagging hence we consider the positive sign whole thing is multiplied with 100 to get percentage of voltage regulation IHV can be calculated as the transformer rating is in KVA that is 8 KVA is equal to VHV into IHV or IHV is equal to 8 into 10 to the power of 3 divided by the voltage on the HV side that is 400 that is equal to 20 amperes. Now we will substitute all the values in the voltage regulation formula and the power factor is given as 0 0.8 lagging so positive sign is taken. and sin phi is 0.6 and that is equal to 2.26 percent. Now we will find the efficiency at full load. When we are calculating the efficiency at full load, the value of x is considered as 1. So, efficiency is equal to generalized formula for efficiency at x load is equal to x into output in kW divided by x into output plus iron losses plus x square times the copper losses that is equal to 8 into 10 to the power of 3 into the power factor is 0 0.8, 0 0.8 
divided by eight into ten to the power of three into point eight plus the iron losses is seventy five watts and the copper losses is one one zero watts into hundred that is equal to the efficiency at full load is equal to ninety seven point one nine percent. Now we'll calculate the efficiency at half load. To cal when you are calculating the efficiency at half load, you, ha you have to consider x as one by two. Substituting all the values in the efficiency equation, iron losses is seventy five watts and the copper losses is half square times the one one zero into hundred. Hence, the efficiency at half load is equal to ninety six point eight percent.